that if you look at Eastern, um, you know, we know their pain. We lost Nelson. They lost Met, uh, Carlos, what, I can't think of his last, Met, Met whatever. Um, you know who I'm talking about. Uh, and they're a young team. <laughs> that made them a young team just like it made us a young team without Nelson. And, uh, but, you know, at home they had been pretty good. They'd won both two of their three home games and they'd lost to a good Atlantic 10 team. So we came in here knowing that it was going to be a battle. We knew they were an outstanding rebounding team. Uh, they hurt us on the boards with 15 offensive rebounds. Uh, but, but I really thought we were really good defensively. I thought we guarded extremely well. Rebounding was an issue. Uh, in that zone we play, though, rebounding can be an issue at times. So uh, I was very pleased. We had to make some adjustments. We did. Um, we weren't very good on offense most of the game, but Kangas was huge when we needed him, and J.J. did a great job of running the show for us. So it's just a good, solid win for us. It gives us, you know, we played one of the hardest schedules in the country, and it gives us a, a winning non-league record. Uh, we've played 13, we've played 14 games now. We've only played two in our own gym, and we've cr traveled across the country and back and across again, and we've got a winning record. So I, I can't be any more excited about my team. Well, we're just getting better. You know, we're just getting better. Nelson's injury can, if, if we can get him, he wasn't very good tonight, but if we can get him back to playing the way, you know, at the all league level, uh, it gave all those young freshmen a, a lot of minutes. You know, Samuels and Cushenberry and Maynard. Um, now, we, our other freshman, our seven footer, got hurt yesterday in practice, and he's going to be out for a while. He uh, hurt his foot. Um, but it gave those freshmen a lot of minutes, gave a sophomore, Will Hudson, a lot of minutes. So, you know, that we're getting better. We get Nelson back and get him back at full speed, and now those guys are playing off the bench minutes. We really like our chances. No. No, I'm probably the only coach in America that would play a kid that hadn't touched the basketball in six weeks. But I knew that he, the excitement of getting back, uh, he got cleared at 9.30 this morning. They put an orthotic in there. They told me I could play him a couple minutes, but they really didn't think I would. Um, I just wanted him to get on the floor and get the excitement of playing out of, you know, I mean, he was like a third grader again when he was out there. I mean, he got a rebound and just dropped it out of bounds, you know. Um, but I didn't want that excitement being in the Palace Saturday against Michigan State. We're going to keep him here for Christmas. Uh, we're going to work him out tomorrow and Wednesday. We'll let him go home Wednesday night, and then he's going to come back Christmas night, and we'll work him out again. And then we're going to play him against Michigan State. Anytime you win a Division One basketball game on the road, you hug each other and you move on. You don't you don't worry about any of that stuff. Now maybe North Carolina and people like that, maybe they can get mad at their players. I can't get mad at my players. We've played two times in the arena, you know. And we beat a Mac school on the road, a Michigan, a team we recruit against. You know, schools that we recruit against. There were kids here that both Eastern and Oakland are recruiting and we won the game. I don't care what it looked like. That's good for Oakland. It does. Anytime you play your in-state rivals, you have to win. You have to win the state. We have said that. We've now beaten Eastern three times in a row. We've beaten uh, Western the last two times we've played them. Detroit and Central won't play us, so we can't beat them. We have to win the in-state games. You have to. Anything else? Thank you. Have a Merry Christmas.